Hey guys, Shimmer here, and today I'm bringing you a new player guide showing you how to meet up and play the starter area with your friends in New World. There will be time links in the about section below and chapters, so if you want to skip over some parts you can, but let's get to it. The first time you log into New World on a new character, you will have a short intro tutorial to complete. This will teach you the basics of combat, such as blocking, dodge rolling, heavy and light attacks, and so on. Once you complete the starter tutorial, you will be randomly dumped in a beach on one of the start four starter areas, Everfall, First Light, Monarch's Bluff, or Windsward. Unfortunately, there is no way to choose which starter area you get dumped into, so if your friends are in another starter area and you want to play with them in the be very beginning, here's how you join them. When you arrive on the beach, you will have a quest called Soul Survivor. Run up to the NPC and turn that quest in, but do not, I repeat, do not accept the next quest. Instead, what you'll want to do is run your baby brand new character to the zone that they're in, go to this tower icon, uh, there is one in each of the starter zones, The NPCs at each of these will give you the same quest that you didn't take in the original dumping spot and lock you to that zone for your, for your story quest. If you do take the quest where you were first dumped, you will be locked in that zone and will be unable to join them until uh, later on in the game. The story quest runs you along the zone up until you choose a faction at around level 13-ish. So if you accidentally did take that quest and want to be able to quest with your friends, you won't be able to until you get to this point. The run can be a little long, and if you're unfamiliar with the map terrain, uh, it'll be a little bit difficult. If you look at the map, you want to avoid the darker areas that are impassable. These are rocks or hills that you can't run through. The lighter blue areas, of course, are bodies of water. I would recommend sticking to the road for the most part, as cutting through the forest could get you killed by a pig or a wolf, and you'll be sent back to the main city in the zone you first started in. If you see a road cut by a farm or a camp, try and skirt this area as sometimes enemies patrol the roads in those areas. Once you're in the new zone, run to the watchtower and take the quest. When you find your friends, you'll want to group up with them. There are two ways that you can group with your friends. The first way is walking up to your friend and pressing H. This will bring up their player menu and you can invite them. The second way is via the social menu, which can be accessed by pressing O on your keyboard or pressing escape and clicking the online icon in the top left corner. This is where you can type in the player's name to invite them to party. This is also where you can view your friends list or invites to party. If you aren't party leader, you can accept an invite on this screen. Or if you aren't in this menu and when you're invited, you will receive a notification on your screen and you can press F1 to accept the invite. You will all need to be in the same play mode in order to group, either PvP mode or PvE mode. When you're inside a town, you can press U to toggle either PvP or PvE mode. But you will all need to be the same play mode before you group. You can only change your play mode while inside of its settlement. After choosing a faction, if you're not doing the story quest, but decide to do some faction board quests with your friends, this can be a little bit frustrating as you don't always get the same quests and you cannot share quests. These quests at the top of the faction board are PvE quests. Which board quests you're given is determined by your character level and point spent. So if there is a large difference, most, you will most definitely not get the same quests as your friends. However, it is still beneficial to take these quests in the group and go around the map and complete every quest and return to turn it in. You will complete the quest faster and get XP for your group members killing mobs. Plus, it's funner with friends. Mm. Along with the board PvE quests, there are PvP quests, and these will have bigger rewards. These are the bottom three quests on the, your faction's board. You will have to toggle on PvP mode, regroup, and do the quests. Note that you can be killed by along the way by enemies, and if you are killed by an enemy player, you will lose the quests and all progress in it, and have to return back to the board to retake them. 
And that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and sub if you enjoyed, or if it helped you out any, and click that bell icon to be notified when I have new videos go live. Stay tuned for more New World Guides. Bye!